Hi everyone, welcome back to my video tutorial. This video tutorial is intended for my APCSA students as a reference. Now, I what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a simple class that would sim uh, simply display a text on screen. Now in Java, for us to display, we can use uh, what we call standard output stream called out. But to know more about Java standard output stream out, let's go to the Java library. Now out is in class system. And since out is static, we shall access it using the name of the class. So we have to write the class name system. And also, out is of data type print stream, so we can use the method that we need to print and that method is called print. Now there are so many varieties of print method in, in print stream class and I can use um, I can use print method with one argument which is of type string since I want to print a string or text on screen. So since out is of type print st uh, stream and print stream has method print, I can call it to print a very simple text like welcome to Java pro programming. As simple as that. Oh, sorry. System. Dot out. Dot print. And this statement must be ended with a semicolon. So this is how to display a text or string literal on screen using standard output stream, which is a static. That's why we are accessing it, we are using it using the name of the class which is system and since out is of type uh, print stream we have the opportunity to call one of its methods which is print to display this uh, string literal on screen. Now to find out if this simple code works, let's run it. Just click on the the play button on the toolbar on top of your IDE. It's a green one and just click on it and it's working. Now that's how to print a string literal on screen. Now what if I want to display another string literal underneath the first line so if I want to go down I have to use another variety of print method which is println now ln stands for line so meaning to say after the computer prints the welcome to Java programming it goes down to print another string literal so I have to have another I may have another sysoutprintln uh, statement and I want to print college preparatory preparatory Program. 
and it must be ended with a semicolon. So it means to say that I have two lines of code, uh, two lines of output over here. The first line would, would display welcome to Java programming and after printing that string literal it goes down a line is printed a new line is printed to print another string literal college preparatory program now this is just one of so many ways to do it now another way to do this displaying of two lines of text is by using an escape sequence character backward slash n. Now backward slash n is a escape sequence to print a new line using one system.out.print statement. So all everything inside the double quotation uh, including the escape sequence character actually there are so many escape sequence character like what I uploaded on Schoology so just go to your Schoology and let's go to your class on Schoology and I uploaded uh, this file so these are the escape sequence with their corresponding meaning or descriptions okay so what we just used was backward slash n meaning it inserts a new line in the text at this point so let's go to go back to eclipse so at this point where you put the escape sequence backward slash n it goes down to print Cal, uh, college preparatory program so let's see what happens when we do this if we do this okay so here we have two lines of co -op of output even though we only used one print ln method declaration uh, statements okay even though we have one system that out print line statement we have two lines of uh, output because of this backward slash n backward slash n is a, is a escape sequence it means that it means that it inserts a new line in the text at this point so at this point college prep program goes down because a new line is just inserted I hope this simple code would help you in any ways. Thank you so much. See you next time. Bye-bye.